Time for an update. We've made some pretty good progress here, I'd say, since the last time we had any sort of a conversation. I have um, gotten a lot of the way done with the interior of the RV. You can see I've got a countertop in here now. Got the fridge down here. Got this uh, dehumidifier, which is doing a great job. You can see all the liquid down there. We've got two forms of internet right now, um, Starlink pending, but this is an AT&T home base, which is made for rural America. It's got two phone jacks back here. Never use those, of course. This is a uh, 4G Verizon hotspot, which we use um, quite a bit. At least we used to use it back in the day with the other RV over there. Um, got a 50 inch Westinghouse television, which uh, you can see here obviously works as a third display for the Mac. This is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's one of the M1 Mac, uh, M1 Max Max. It's pretty cool. This is a 24 inch um, external display. It's on, a, on an arm that uh, raises and lowers and what have you. It's pretty cool. Um, blackout curtains. So right now it's not performing a lot of duty because, well, it's brighter than hell outside. I built this slat bed here. So that whole thing will compress and move up and give me access to the cab. I'm not going to show a lot of the cab today because it's a mess right now. It just hasn't been worked on at all. All of the windows have been framed in and I'm going to uh, put a, a one by four inch piece of wood around all the whole thing to actually frame it in. So all of these windows right now are just kind of bare. I have some Reflectix that actually goes into these windows um, when I'm not in it. The curtains haven't been done yet. I've got a a couple of little 12 volt things hanging out of the out of the wall waiting for uh, waiting for lights. Let's see. On this side, I have a Berkey. This Berkey also came from our old RV life and uh, still works really, really well. Got a great little sink here. It's very deep. It's a, I think it's a 10 inch deep sink. Um, the pump works. I've got it on a little switch here. So um, as you would expect, you turn on the pump and now comes water, which is pretty cool. Um, got a kind of a makeshift um, spice rack right there. And then uh, of course the fridge, there's nothing in here. Remember I'm, I'm still at home. Um, so there's really no food or anything going on in these, but they're all plugged in and they work. And so uh, I at least keep some drinks out here too. Both of the cabinets, oh, actually I should say neither of the cabinets have their um, storage systems installed yet. So this is just a big, um, piece of plywood. I plan to cut some holes into that. This is also where the solar system is going to go. I took all of the old solar equipment out of the uh, big RV and I'm designing a system right now around that and just kind of figuring out how all the things work. And of course on this side we'll have um, utensils and pots and pans and things and, and the, the you know, burner or the stove that goes out here that'll be out here as well. But you know right now uh, it's it's serving its function. Right now it is is acting as an office. It's in my driveway. You can see the donor van right outside the window, um, but it is definitely acting as an office. And with the addition of this air conditioner up here, we've been able to do a lot in the uh, Texas uh, heat so far. Now, granted, it's only gotten up to 90, um, but it's kept at a nice 75 in here, between 72 and 75, depending on what it's set at. So it's working out pretty well. You can also see I've got a lot of work to do on the on the walls some of this stuff, Jill, it needs to be, um, I've got a seam cover that's going to go on that. So walls are definitely unfinished. You can see that I did like this side right here has the um, kills on it. This side has not been kills yet. And you can see that kind of throughout the, throughout the RV, you'll see some spots like this over here where we were doing a little bit of testing with the kills and haven't gotten quite to everything yet. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the quick update. And uh, oh, um, the water tank is under this uh, space here. So there's a, I think it's a 30 gallon water tank. And then there's a water heater underneath this side, which is um, propane. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of that tank and replace it with an on-demand tank. I think that'll be a lot better for me. And then I also did all the plumbing and everything that exists underneath this area here for the sink and um, the external feed and all that kind of stuff too. I'll do a, another kind of more detailed view of that at some point in the future. But yeah, it's been great. Um, it's serving its purpose. So one interesting fact about the electrical system here is that um, with everything on, including the air conditioner back here behind me, the air conditioner, all these computers and uh, screens and all those things, the most I've ever seen the um, kilowatt display is about 900 watts. And I think that was when I had on, <laughs> I had on a uh, vacuum as well. And I think that was kind of what put it over the top. Typically it's between maybe 750 amps or 750 
watts to uh, about 850. So the 1200 watts of solar that's going on the roof gonna just be dynamite for this system. And I don't know if you know this or not, or if you remember if we talked about it, I've got two Tesla uh, Model S batteries. So those are 230 amp hours at 24 volts. Plenty of power to run this rig for as long as I need it to, um, several days off grid easy. So from here on out, um, the updates will be about projects, just little individual things that I need to get done, like um, you know, fixing the um, fixing the trim around the windows. I'll you know do a video around that. Finishing out the um, the area around the air conditioner. I'll get that done as a project. And um, I've got a new little system I want to build for the solar display, uh, for the electrical displays and all those things. I'll get that built, and that'll be a project. And each one of these things will just be a video that I release from now on. Um, the next one I think that I'm going to do really is uh, about planning for the solar system. I've got some U-bolts that I bought that I'm gonna use to fasten some, um, some of the strut uh, to the roof so that I can put the four panels on and so on. So I'm gonna detail how I do that. Um, should be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the, the smaller, kind of more bite-sized content versus trying to tackle an entire RV build in one uh, session. So hope you'll hang out. Um, I've picked up the energy here a little bit. I think that'll be helpful as well. And just kind of give me your feedback if there's anything that you'd like to see or any questions you have about the rig itself. Um, looking forward to filling you in. Talk soon. Bye.